check check one two three let the fun begin all right we're gonna open up premiere pro we're gonna do this i don't know what we're gonna do son of sam the untold story okay so here's the deal my buddy did an edit so we're gonna tweak it and you could either watch and learn or you could go away and not learn anything all right so Let's see, what we first did was we imported his XML file because he was working from uh, Adobe CC Premiere 2018 and this is CS6. So he exported an XML file which to which I just went file, uh, da -da -da, open or import. And I imported that uh, right here, son of Sam XML file. And when it opened, it gave me this folder. And inside this folder was his timeline somewhere. Oh, it was right, it's right here. Anyway, I had a timeline that I had started messing with. He, his timeline came in here, which is, has to be in this bin. I don't even know why am I not seeing it. There it is. Okay, it's in here. That's it. That's his timeline. So you double click it and it opens up. See, if you close it, click it, it opens back up. So, first thing we want to do here is I marked on mine these timestamps. So, we're at 1 minute 43 seconds. So, we'll go to his timeline, zoom out. We're zooming in and out with control plus and minus, holding control, pressing plus and minus. What I say it was one what? This is it right here, Attack Times logo. Okay, so we'll come over here. If I push up or down, it skips to the next um, set of cuts, up or down. Now, here's a little thing. If you have this off, let's see. If you have these on, it's going to skip. So the ones that it's see all these all these videos are cut in the same place so that's not a good example but anyway point is that these are going to affect whether or not you can jump to a cut by pressing up and down all right so here's the first spot i'm going to press up and i went backwards down goes forwards up on the the arrow keys i'm going to press m to mark this okay here's the first thing i'm going to do so I'm going to right click over here on the audio tracks and put delete tracks and I'm going to click on delete video tracks all empty tracks delete audio tracks all empty tracks and click OK and now we're narrowed down to only what we have okay next thing I'm going to do is come over here and open this up the arrow and drag this down so I can actually see the wave. Okay, I'm going to open this one up, audio 2. And try to drag it down. I don't know why I'm not able to. It's a very weird setup. Like, it's not a... Uh, open it up. Yeah, this is strange. It's not letting me click on there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up to Window. I'm going to Workspace. I'm going to go to Reset Current Workspace. It's resetting me back to. Wow, this still looks all choppy down here. Something looks weird. And it's not clicking, it's not responding. This is not good news. What's up with this bottom channel here? Something's glitchy. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click exit, save it, and then I'm going to open it back up and see if we can get past that glitch. Son of Sam. Okay. There we go. I can bring that channel down. I don't know what that glitch was about. I've never seen anything like that. But lately I've been running into things I haven't seen. Okay, so I'm going to drag this over. We can make our timeline bigger because we don't need all this room over here. And so now we can actually see the waves. Um, 
if we want to open our videos up, we can do that as well. So you can actually see images now. Not that it's really useful, but at least we we're not just looking at, you know, blue bars of nothing. So it kind of is useful. All right, so there you have it. We're all set. So now I'm gonna come back to my, double click my project and I'm gonna find my next, my next marker was here at 21, 21, 26. Right, so we're going to click back on his timeline, 21, 26, right about here. Okay, so this was, this, this is too loud. See this audio is cranked here? Too loud. So right click, remove effects, volume is checked puts it back down to, to, to flat zero. He didn't know. Because it was too loud. This is what it was doing. He didn't see it hitting the red over here. Okay, control Z, undo. So fix that one. All right, next um, marker was over here. And the video is exactly the same. This one was just the exported file. This one is actually the session, the edited session. This only has cuts in it because I put cuts in it, but it was one big file. And what we're addressing here is this, um, the size of these waves, how they're getting, how they're like really chopped off. I mean, that's one of the things we're addressing. See how fat they are here? They're getting chopped. These look pretty healthy right here at the end. So you want it boosted pretty big, but you don't want it slamming and getting crushed up here where the wave is getting chopped. Like you don't even see see the flat line right here that's the wave getting chopped okay we don't want that we're losing information there it could possibly be causing distortion okay um, next one is this which is 30 29 38 come out 29 38 is there one? Get, get you. Okay, so this is a curse word. It's what, what? I get you, you son of, son of a. Okay, so right here, what we're gonna do is come to our tech times cut, which I guess is in here. I wonder if we could just drag all this out into here. There we go. Okay. And all this as well. Drag it all in here. So we don't even need this bin. Whatever this bin is, we don't need any of this. This can actually go bye-bye as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so now everything's in here. Um, Tack Times logo cut. I'm just going to pull that in right here over the bad word. And put it right here. You sound good. Now what is this audio? Audio one, audio two. This should be a stereo channel. I don't know why it's two separate audio channels. This is weird because you got two mono channels. It's very weird. Okay, so let's just say let's say I were to take I wonder if I can combine these channels. Hmm. Add tracks. Audio tracks one. Track type. Uh, stereo. And let's just try. Audio tracks one. Audio, audio tracks. We don't want any video tracks. I just hit my microphone. Okay, let's see what happens. It opens up a audio three and four. Why did it do that? That is so weird. Delete tracks. Whoops. Delete tracks. Oh, empty tracks. Okay. 
I don't know why these are two like mono channels. Add tracks. Audio tracks, add one after audio two. Okay. Standard 5.1 adaptive mono. Placement, track type stereo. So it's giving me two channels. Oh, here's audio three. Audio three. So I wonder if I were to grab all this audio here. I just don't know why there are two. I mean, even my look at my channels are my channels are supposed to be stereo. All right, so let's see if I can drag these together onto three. No, it's only going to drag them onto two more. Right? It won't put them on three. No, it won't put them on three. Well, you know, I'm a little confused about that. I should be looking at one stereo channel here, but instead I have audio one and audio two. And Maladjust they're both stereo. Adjusted. Well, they're actually not. They look like they're mono, but plagued with death fantasies, only to find out that I was unwanted. Pan it hard right and left. On it, an accident after all. Okay, undo. I actually put this back at this back at zero. Zero. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on here. But we'll do it like this then. Cause I don't wanna have to I mean it'd be good to know, but I'm not sure what's going on here. Could be just be, it could just be because of the way it was exported out. They came like this. All right. Well, moving along then. Close this. You have the bad word. Did we kill the bad word? Did we get the bad word out? It was at 2936. Here ish. No, 29 right here. Son of a. Do you son of a. Whatever happens, we're gonna. See, look at the tech times. Why is it ginormous? Come to effects, come to motion. It should be at. Wow, it's at 100%. So hit this button and it should reset it. But what is going on here? What size? project are we dealing with? Alright, come to the project, right click properties. We're in a 1280 by 720 project. Okay, we're in the wrong size project. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do then. We're going to come back to my project. Actually, first thing we're going to do is finish marking these spots. So we fix that dude. We fix that spot. What's next? The next is another curse word, which is, which is at 3706. 3706. That's the word. Screaming at him, you son of a... Okay, so right here I'm going to pull in my uh, Tech Times Cut with Logo. Slap it on there. This is the word right here. I'm going to pull this up here. Oh, undo. Pull that up there. 
I'm you son of a bitch. You killed my daughter. You're gonna get killed yourself. Okay. All right. So next, we're going to come to and come back to this. Whatever that bad word was right here. And I'm gonna actually reset this clip to what the regular size is. Okay, so last up is, what's this? This is, this is where we might want to extend the video so we don't have to worry about that. This is the part I want to fix. Okay, so here's what we're going to do then. We're going to grab this whole thing, right? Control, actually, I'll show you. We'll take this one that we have, right? Which is right here, Son of Sam. Right click. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is save it just so we don't lose anything. I'm going to right click it. Click copy. I'm going to actually right click in the kind of whatever in this area. Should work even if I'm right clicking on one of these. And put paste. And it created a new copy of it. So if I double click this, here's a new one, right? Well, actually, just rename um, this is the new one down here. We'll rename it new. Okay, that's a new one. We can close this one. Over here, we can actually delete all this. And we're going to come back to this one where we're editing. We're going to click on here and hold control and press A and it's going to select everything. Okay, I'm going to press control C, which is going to copy it all. And I'm actually going to close this project. And right here, I'm going to go back to the start and press control V. Now it pasted everything in. Now everything is the wrong size because of the. Now we're in a now our, actually this one should be 1080, whereas this one was done in 720, whoops, well anyway, that's the old one. So here's what you do anyway, you go to file, or you go to file, um, edit no file new sequence and this is where you get it and this is where I'm starting all my sequences at I'm um, under the digital SLR which is the DSLR cameras and I have DSLR 1080p at 30 FPS now you might be able to get that from somewhere else in here uh, HDV you have your 1080 platforms some of them are there DVC Pro I don't know you just got to get yourself a uh, a 1080 then you can kind of tweak it from there but this is the one that I always go for I mean you have some under the AVC HD I don't know you know sometimes these might not be showing up for you but if you have this one go with this one right here and then you would just name it you know son of Sam and hit OK and it creates a new one and now when you bring in a file let's say you bring in this file to come into this I still don't know why it's coming up as two channels on the audio but let's say you brought it in you have the option to keep the existing settings that we just set the 1080 which we do want to do or change them and changing them is going to change them to whatever that clip is so if we do that we just lost our 1080 okay so now this project has reverted to 1280 by 720 so we just lost our 1080 which is probably what happened in the original so in this case when we start projects undo that and we pull in a video oh now we lost it so but if we come up to project 
and you can't change them either once you're here you can't change them so now it's changed if I undo did it come back undo undo maybe now it's back to 1080 yeah now it's 1080 so if I were to pull in this video and drop it oh no it's not 1080 is it 1920 by 1080 was that not the project we pulled in right click this properties this is 1280 by 720 so if we're on son of Sam and we pull this in it's gonna ask us and in this case we want to keep the settings we don't want to change them so now your now your video is too small and all you do to fix this is you go to motion and you raise it up to 150 now other videos you're gonna to have to raise it to like 71 or different numbers but you'll know what it is you can eyeball it you can change this here to show smaller and you can actually move this you don't need to undo that but that's the idea you can crank it with a scale or you can type it in or you can actually drag these numbers and I know in this case because of the video size it's going to be 150 so I'll type 150 and hit enter I can bring this back to fit so I could see it that's what we got to do here so now in this case this was just one that we made up so I'm going to delete that sequence we're going to come delete we're going to come back to the 1081 where everything is off and we're just going to come over here and we're going to scale this to 150 and just to make sure we'll back it off yes it is 150 so what we're going to do here is and uh, actually what we want to do is right click remove effects it's going to remove everything the volume and all then we're going to go to motion scale 150 okay now I'm going to it is it is interestingly grabbing audio too as if it's a stereo channel so it's functioning as though it's a stereo channel but it's visually looks like two for some reason okay I'm gonna grab all this right click and click copy okay now we're gonna move over here and what we're actually going to do is select these I'm going to hold shift select these 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 now as I come through oh see even this is actually what I need to do is I need to take all this right highlight it all right click remove effects boom get rid of it all okay now I'm gonna come back to this clip put this at 150 okay then what I'm gonna do is actually you know what I'm gonna undo that I'm gonna come to this clip actually I'm gonna find a clip like a nice long clip like this oh see that's gonna be a totally different size look at that never mind that clip we're gonna have to do this piece by piece okay I'm gonna get this clip wow this is not good is it we're gonna have to do this piece by piece I guess All right I love to hunt all right let's take this audio right here and what I'm going to do is it's reset to normal I'm just going to go to my effects and put on an EQ and drag it on these are my favorites this is a folder I made of favorites you can right click create or new custom bin and then name it your favorites whatever and then literally drag your find your effects like let's say type in EQ 
and then you'll find it, drag it into your favorites folder. And now in my favorite folder, it's only showing EQ because I have EQ typed here. Just X that out and just open your favorites. And now I have two of the same EQ, so I get the legal one. Anyway, so I have, I have, I'm going to take the EQ and put it on this channel. I'm going to set this to loudness. And what it's going to do is if you open this up, it's going to show a graphic EQ and it's boosting some of the lows and it's boosting some of the higher mids. It just brings a little clarity and, and fullness to the sound. You could go in there and tweak it more to your liking, but this is a good overall qu quick EQ that you can slap on that's going to just sound okay in most cases. Then I grab the multiband compressor and throw that on. And you notice here, none of these channels are actually slamming the top like the other one, like the export was. The uh, the waves are not crunching at the top like that. Um, if we look back at that original one, that was this one, this export. Look how everything is slammed at the top. It's too loud. It's distorting. Okay, so this one isn't like that. All right, so... We put on the multiband compressor. Now a good preset usually is a plus six upward compression, which just gives you like a nice chunkier six dB of sound. And then on top of that, I'll tend to add, come back to your effects, I'll tend to add what is called a dynamics. And the dynamics is just another compressor, like this, multi this is the multiband compressor. If you want to mess with stuff, you can, but you'll have to understand ratios, thresholds, attacks, releases, uh, what you're doing. This is another EQ. And so a good preset to go to is this one. It gives you a boost in volume. If you, even, if you need even more of a boost, you can go to this one, upward comp plus eight. Um, if you're too boosted and you don't need that much boost in volume, music or film mastering are interesting presets that sometimes sound good, um, depending on what it is. But I usually go to the upward six to begin. And then on my Dynamics, it's another compressor. And really the only thing I use this one mostly for is it, it's already got a decent uh, compression setup on it with some makeup gain for volume. What I do is I click on this limiter and I crunch that down to zero or maybe just pull it back to like negative 0 0.60 or negative 0 0.30 or even negative 0 0.90, 80, whatever, but just a little under zero, like negative 0 0.30 is probably ideal. And all that does is it limits the, it limits the volume from hitting the red and stops it at that point. So... Let's hear what this clip originally sounded like. Right here, when you double click it, it opens up here, and if I click spacebar, it'll play. Tina Suriani and Alexander Esau were both shot and killed. You see the level is at right here, negative 12. Now let's, Instant. Now let's listen Blade. to, see how it's down here, negative 30, and then when he talks, it's up to the negative 12. The note Berkowitz had dropped at the crime scene. All right, now let's listen to what we did to it. We saw were both shot and killed instantly. The note Berkowitz had dropped at the crime scene was the... Okay, see, it went up to negative six, so it added. So with this clip, you can even tell this wave is small. You could tell this wave is, like, um, not that fat. See, this wave has all this room that it could be, all this empty space. A good, healthy wave looks more like more like that or let's say my wave that I made at the end how big and fat it is but it doesn't hit the doesn't hit the top if it hits the top anywhere it's little tiny peaks like right here you could see one that's hitting the edge but that's what the limiter will, will stop okay anyway we're back on this clip so what we can do is come back to effects control and take the multiband compressor and crank it up to eight and it's going to put it up even higher it's a manhunt in the history of new york somebody came up with the theory that the mo of this particular now since we're still lacking volume we can crank this up maybe like and yeah, we could go another six shooter was exactly the same 
as a scenario on Starsky and Hutch. We sat and watched every Starsky and Hutch episode. That's how minute we... I'm not sure why I have two EQs on the channel here, so I'm going to take one of these off. This EQ should be a, a sorry, a loudness. I have the multiband compressor set at, should be set at upward comp plus six. The dynamics is limiting at negative 30. No, sorry, negative 0 0.30, which is basically zero. We got about this thing. A few days after Valentina and Al... Okay, see the, the meter is nice and healthy now. So what we're going to do is take this, control C, to copy. Okay, we're going to come... This is going to be where it gets tricky. We're going to highlight everything again on the audio and click, right click, remove effects. Okay, so now we're going to come through the video and anywhere there's attack times, I'm going to hold alt and shift and click and it's going to remove it from that clip. Alt and shift, remove it because these don't need to be boosted. But at the same time, this is all corrective editing. This stuff should should have been done the right way to begin with, and we wouldn't have to come through and oh, whoops, pressed the wrong thing. We wouldn't have to come through and do this. But anywhere it says tack times on all these cuts here, I'm holding Shift and Alt and clicking them. But it's making me click them individually. All right, and there's way too many. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and click paste attributes and it's going to put all those effects on all that audio, on all these audio channels. Or it's going to crash from here on me. Okay, see this clip has it. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click that click, right click, remove effects, okay come to this tack times remove effects okay come to this one remove effects okay come to this one and this one remove effects okay come to these two remove effects oops sorry wrong one Right click, remove effects. Okay, are we almost there? Oh no, we got such a long way to go. Okay, click, hold shift, right click, remove effects. Okay, jump to here, remove effects. See, look how loud they're going to be. Oh, way too loud. Okay, remove effects. Well, lots of lots of tech times cuts in here, which is cool. It's branding all the way. All right, right click, remove effects. Right click, remove effects. Oh no, I should have done this after I, well, whatever. I should have, I should have, uh, I should have done this after I messed with the, the video, or the image. Remove effects. Now what I don't understand here is what's going on here. You have another channel underneath. I don't know why this is like this. Why is there a channel on top of it? Why are there videos on top of videos? Is my question. Okay. I'm just removing effects. I guess this is the only way we're going to be able to do this because. Ooh, what's that? Why is it shifted like that? Remove effects. What's up here? 
from classes. This guy walks up to her and she... I'm so confused. Why are there two channels of videos on top of each other? Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to take all these videos that are on top And bring them in. Oh, the undo. This needs to be on. Snap to grid. So when you bring it down, it snaps into place. I don't know why this audio is. This guy walks up to her. Asses. This guy walks up to her. Classes. This guy walk. I'm crossfading that. Classes. This guy walks up to her. And she There's a popping noise. All right. So, what is all this? The following week. He was on the, hunt. the following week, he was on the hunting. Interesting. Okay. Well, here we go. Remove effects. Well, geez, Louise. All right, grab this one. Grab that one. Grab this one and this one. This one. And that one, I'm holding shift, holding shift, holding shift, right click, remove effects. Oh, we're almost done. Shift, shift. Shift, 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 left click, right click, remove effects, okay. Here we are. That's it. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. The audio, the audio has been treated. Now, I'm going to fix this right here. We want to land the video right there. So we're going to cut all that off. Extend this out, see what we got. Destruction. Right here. Click here, click delete. It's going to bring everything in. I would hold this with Alt to highlight. Actually, you can just drag it, that's fine. Control T. All right, I'm going to bring this all the way over here because this is where I want my clip to end. Drag this out. Actually, that's perfect right there. Pull this one out to match. I don't know why it's making me edit these two individually. They should just be together. Destruction. Machine of destruction. In this okay, so now we have to fix all the video um, aspect ratio. So I'm going to control S, save this. All right. We're just going to come in here, put this at. This is supposed to be at 150. This video is going... Oh, I know why you put all that extra stuff underneath it. Oh, no. i got to undo all this. Yeah. i got to undo all that. Oh, no. I can't even undo it all because of what... Ah, see, I messed you up. Okay, how do I redo? Redo Control Shift Z. Control Z Shift Z. Control Shift Z. I'm gonna redo it all then. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do then. Bring this up, hold Alt, bring it up. Now everything on the bottom.
So what we're going to want to do is bring this one up to 225-ish. 225, okay. We're going to come through, and we're going to do copy. Click this one, paste attributes. This one is going to be paste attributes. Paste attributes. Actually, let's take a look at this. This one can go bye bye. Okay. On Christmas Eve, nine. Destruction. Okay, that didn't work because of that. So let's pull this up. Okay, this one's good. Actually, at the moment, I'm going to take all this. No, that's fine. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just going to keep going. This one, this one, this one. Paste attributes. These cuts should actually be, these things should actually be up. Because the bottom layer is really just the, uh, the background, the backdrop. Oh no, was I deleting them? No, I wasn't deleting them. Audio. I wasn't deleting the audio. Right? Okay. It's getting a little out of hand, this session. Okay. I didn't understand what was going on with the double tracks, but now I get it. There was a backdrop created. attributes I don't think these even matter these things they could just stay doubled I'm just being tedious for no reason here I'm just holding shift and going through these now. I'm, I'm not going to be wasting too much time anymore. These are all, oh, this one looks like a different, that one looks like it's a different aspect ratio. So when I paste on this clip, it's going to be not enough. So I have to bring this out to 321. This one's different too. This one's going to be about 125, or 150 rather. Now we've got into these clips, which are going to be the 150 clips. Okay, this one's back to the other paste attributes. This one's back to the other paste attributes. Okay. 
attributes. This one, this one, this one, paste attributes. Okay, we're like halfway. This one, this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, right click, paste attributes. Look, we're near the end. This one is the 150. This one. This one. That one and that one and this. No, that one's different. Right click, paste attributes. This one's going to have to come out more to 321. Okay. This one. 321. Another one. 321 enter. This one. Right click, paste attributes. Right click, paste attributes. This one's good. Okay, so now if we really want to get crazy with the background, I mean, I think it's fine with the black bars, but. I mean, we could, we could add that effect, which is here, by taking this and dragging it out to there, and then putting a blur on it, if you will. It's a little much. And even if we want, we can throw a color corrector and make it black and white, crunch it, maybe not all the way black and white, maybe just a little duller. Let me see what he originally had. It was... It was this one. Originally, he just had black bars with a with a uh, blur effect. Okay, so mine goes back to that. So, actually, reset this color corrector. that's distracting or not. I don't know if that's distracting or not. Maybe make it more blurry. Super blurry. It's a little too blurry. Sixteen million people. I kind of feel like it's better with just black. Massive nervous breakdown. There was palpable fear in the hearts of people in the streets of the city at night. I feel like it's less distracting. But there's another thing we could do here. We can come up here to um Scale, no, scale motion. Oh, uniform scale. Take this off. And we can actually drag this out. It's 300. 300. Now, nah, that doesn't work. Sorry. Palpable fear. Sorry, that doesn't work. Undo, 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 undo. But. What we could do is what we could do is reset that one. 
take off uniform scale and drag it out like that drag it up like that and then slap back on this one kind of just gives the same kind of gives that same effect I mean what's the other way? The other way is uniform scale and scale it up bigger Right? And does it do the kind of the same thing? Which prowl the streets, looking for young women to kill. He called himself. Kind of does the same thing. Anyway, we have options here. The blur is okay. The color corrector. We can come here and drop mids crank lows, punch brights, desaturate to 75, 70, 50, 50 ish. How's that go? How's that looking? Okay, well, let's go ahead and copy and we'll do paste attributes okay what we can actually do right now is we can hold alt grab this whole oh we don't want to do it on these we don't want to do it on these channels these guys should be up here one either. Alright, so what we're going to do is grab all these. I'm going to hold Alt so I just get the videos. Okay, I'm going to right click, remove effects, okay. Right click, paste attributes. Okay, so now we should have everything back to how it was. Anything like this isn't going to matter. The bottom, what's underneath it, because it's being hidden anyway. And then, aside from that, if we really want to go crazy, well, let's listen to the audio on these here. At the time, and my mom didn't even know I was in the house. But other times, I would just hide under my bed. And stay that way for some okay so these clips are too are too uh, loud so what we can do is drop it down to zero several hours there, there were times that pull this multiband compressor down to six check again yeah, and pin me down to the still too much um, dynamics Take these dynamics and bring the makeup gain down. Uh, rolling on the floor. Sometimes my dad had to just grab hold. Oh, the limiter's not. Why is the limiter not on? Oh, I added double effects somehow. See, this is not good. Effects were doubled. I've got dynamics, multiband, EQ. Mul no, I'm, I'm sorry. This is just showing two channels. That's not correct. So, oh no, this is horrible. That means that the, the effects are only, they're individually set. This is ridiculous. I don't know why we're dealing with ch two mono channels and not one stereo channel. So, all right, so back to here. 
Let's check our multiband compressor, upward six, our dynamics, our set limiter point or negative point sixty, let's say. Okay. Our EQ on loudness, okay. So we have those set. Our EQ on loudness here, our multiband compressor on the upward six, our dynamics on the limiter, negative 0 0.30, negative 0 0.60. It's fine. Okay, let's check this clip. He said, read the Psalms. So I started to read the Psalms and I was... And they're too cranked. These need to come down to zero. These need to come down to zero. Zero-ish. Which I can't get for some reason. It's not letting me take get zero. It's fine. Shocked. To find some of the most beautiful words that okay so now that audio is good so I'm gonna take this uh, this is where I messed up right click copy grab all this right click remove effects okay so if I come to this first one and I'm gonna lock these channels right click paste attributes so when i paste this attributes and click back on it nothing oh, are you serious what just happened undo 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 okay is this everything i just did no this is the clip I did. Dynamics are on, okay. So what I need to do is right click, copy. Right click, remove effects. Right click, paste, attributes. Did it work? I gave up on everything. I said, you know, my attitude was, I'll leave me alone. Dynamics. Dynamics. Yeah, this is a real pain that these, that, that for, ah, that I got to deal with these, like, individually. They should be together. And it's weird, because it's making it like the, it's making it as if the, uh, the audio is doubling or something. I don't know what's going on with these channels. I need to fix them is the problem. Right click. Add tracks. Add zero video tracks. Add two audio tracks. What is adaptive? This could be it. Add zero submix tracks, track stereo. What is adaptive? Together? Let's try this. What are these? Adaptive. I'm going to grab these and drag them here. Will they go? They won't go. They won't go on one channel. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Premiere. C, S, 6. <sighs> Combine mono to stereo. Converting stereo tracks to dual mono? No, I want it the other way. 
converting stereo tracks to dual mono, converting stereo tracks to dual mono, two mono tracks into a stereo. Right click on the clip in the project panel, modify audio channels, change format to stereo. Clip in the project, change format to stereo. What did it say? Modify audio channels. Number of tracks one channel stereo. Okay. Saving, closing, reopening. Audio filters missing. Delete tracks, delete tracks. If I pull this channel, if I pull this video in, see that now? Look at that. Two channel, two tracks on one channel. So now, now what? Oh, now what? How can I combine these? How in the world can I combine these? Rename, delete, track, audio. Son of the motherless goat. Linking, unlinking of audio tracks and time can be done in split second. I don't even know now how to do this. Not even sure how to do this. This is CBSN preview. Okay, let's say I Say I close this CBSN preview and I go to <sighs> this one. I'm going to come over here and go. So the same dash, the killer speaks, right? I change the name of the file. Now I'm going to open Premiere back up. Okay. Open it back up and it's going to say, where is this file? All right. Son of Sam C. Okay, this is it. Click select. Nope, still didn't work. Still didn't work. I don't know what we have going on here because... Right click properties, 
right click is there modify properties edit edit original the audio channels yes yes correct correct where is it I can't change it it's not gonna let me change it you gotta be kidding you gotta be kidding Why is it not letting me change it? Audio channels. Reveal in project. It's right here. Or somewhere. Reveal in project. Okay. Audio channels where are they modify audio channels stereo one what's going on here will not be reflected as exactly okay darn it Okay, well, so if I go here and go to proper, no, if I go to, if I go to audio channels, I can't change it, it won't let me change it. It won't let me change it. Okay, so, I gotta come over here, select everything, take off the, Take off the, uh, what do you call it? Sequences. I'm going to go to modify audio channels. Stereo one. Okay. So they're all going to be like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go open a file new sequence. Sequence. I'm just going to leave it sequence three just to try this. Come back to this. Copy. It might not work. Paste. No, it didn't work. Really? For real? <sighs> this is horrible. All right, that's not working. I don't know how to get these onto one channel. I just don't know how to get these all back on the one channel. Right click. Audio channels. And it won't let me do it. It's not letting me do it. Ignore alpha channel. It's not letting me do it. I don't know if I don't know if this is how it was edited or if this is just how the thing exported it and sent it like this. I don't even know what to do at this point. From 1976 to 1977, Berkowitz drove a taxi, worked in the post office, and tried to live with his paranoid. Oh, I don't even know what to do at this point. This should look like this. Should see two waves on one channel. Instead, the two waves are split up to two channels. In which case, realistically, this should be panned all the way this way, and this should be panned all the way that way. Parking his Ford next to a fire hydrant. A week later, he dutifully paid the ticket by mail. The police traced the license plate cited on the ticket to the name David Berkowitz. The thing is, they're not even left and right because they look like exact images. 
So the thing turned into like a mono. They look kind of exact to me. They look exactly the same. Over here you will see that do they look exactly the same? Kind of do. All right, well, then. My God, uh, in whom I will trust. At this point, I'm going to put some effects. Some effects on this channel. We're going to come highlight all this, remove effects. Oh no, we crashed. Are we crashing? We're running into another error because we can't remove all these effects now because we changed properties of channels, which are all screwed up now. See, I don't even know. I don't even know how to do this now, so I gotta open up file new sequence and then I'm going to open up sequence four, and then I'm going to try to pull in, what is this? Yeah, that's just how the sequence came in, really. There's nothing else I can do about this. how the sequence came in. I don't know how to fix this now. I don't know how to get these back on a, on one channel. I know that when I pull in a new file, no, that didn't even work either. What's it doing? I thought I changed this. I thought I changed all this. See, so I pull it in now, and it comes in right. So what am I supposed to do? I can't sit here and rematch, re-edit this whole thing. So that's not worth it. I'm trying to think. I can't think of a way to do this. Trying to think of a way to trick it into relinking with all the. It's not going to let me because in here you have your audio channels and it won't let you change them. So it's it's already set here for some reason. It's set and it won't help you do this, so no. it won't let you do this. And I don't think that they, um, okay, just tell me how to do it. Copy and use an idea, just go about it differently. I to just navigate to other projects in the browser and import that, import items that you need in this fashion, so no, you can I don't know what it's saying. Yeah, we're not even trying to deal with transitions. We're just trying to get the... We're just tr simply trying to get the audio onto one channel, but it's just too late. This is how it is. So now i got to come through and just slap on filters, and I'm going to be done with it. Is this is getting out of hand now. Okay, so we're going to come and we're just going to put on I can't do anything to this. I can't change this. This is a
the serial killer known as... I mean, this is literally this clip, right? The serial killer known as... Press O, press I. Let's just say we're to come here, pressed up to go back to the edge, and if I were to just press this button here, insert, overwrite. Oh, what did it do? Undo that. It has no video selecting. I was pick pick this and click overwrite. Source is longer than the destination. Insert. Come on, just do it. See how that happened? It's now it's on one. See how the waves are on one channel? 34 caliber handgun to commit. Except it's only coming in the left. Commit several random shootings across the city. Wow. That is retarded. Okay. Anyway, undo that. So. Sam terrorized. Just going to go and put on the audio. Throw on the EQ. So if I go to EQ and I put on loudness, does it do it for this one as well? No. So then I'm going to go to multiband compressor. Put this at 6. Put this at 6. Then I'm going to go to dynamics. And I'm going to put the limiter on and drop it to zero. Dynamics, limiter on, drop it to zero. Known as Son of Sam, terrorized New York City. Here's the original, double click. City from 1976 to 1977. Here's the new. New York City from 1976 to 1977. I don't even hear a difference. David Berkowitz used a 44 caliber handgun to commit 77. I guess so. David Berkowitz used. Because up here we're in the meters here, if we're watching here. To commit several random shootings across the city. We're down here. Used a 44 caliber handgun to commit several random shootings across the city. He killed six people and he wounded seven others. I'm going to right click, copy. We are in the hearts of people in the city Paste, the, city at paste night. the attributes on this clip. One man terrorized 16 million people. This was a mystery. Nobody. Actually, going to come here, go to the multi band compressor and go upward eight, which means I'm going to have to do it down here. Upward eight. 16 million people. This was a. I'm even going to crank this and crank this. It was a mystery. Nobody had even a clue as to who was doing this. Well, I lost my ability to love. To 1970. I'll crank this also. Crank that. 1977. As to who was doing So I'm going to click right click copy. And then really we have these clips. These clips are all from the same presentation. Anything with a... Gonna sneeze. Okay, turn my mic off. All right. Anything with these clips is gonna have the same audio. So just have shift held down. Where's the tech times uh, intro? This one. This one is not selected. Okay, let's say right click and go to paste attributes. And I come here, click on this clip. It's got everything on it. From the depths of his lone nice and fat. Saving him from this one has it. Alright, so we keep on moving here. Hold shift. Shift. Holding shift. Shift. Holding it. Holding on to it for dear life. All right.
we're not so far from the end. Holding it. What's this one? Right click, paste attributes. Let's check this clip. Uh, I mean, I know that if. Okay, we're over here. Let's go ahead and paste it here and see what happens. I came to know the Lord, my flesh was just going crazy and had no control over it. It's fine. Grab this, grab this. Oh, these are different clips now. Right, let's see what happens when we when we pump these up. In the summer of 1970. In the summer of 19 Young women with shoulder-length dark brown hair who were gunned down as they sat in parked cars or walked the sidewalks of the Bronx and Queens. I never felt any two girls laughing and talking. He parked his car two blocks away and walked. Anna Damasi was shot in the See, there's a huge difference. Okay, so this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Almost there. This one, this one, that one, and that one. This one and this one. And that one, uh, right click, paste attributes. These might be too loud right here. Taking their lives who have hung up. No, those are good. Heard innocent people, and I took innocent. These are good. He never heard voices. He was something's weird there. He was not insane. This one didn't take. Paste attributes. And he wanted nothing except to be left alone and to spend the rest of his life in prison. Later that same... These should be linked. Right click. Link. You don't understand. He said... ...will destroy you. Oh, these aren't linked either. Right click, paste attributes. Any more that look like they have the... ...the yellow line down. See how the yellow line, if I undo that, this yellow line is right here. See my mouse, where this line's up here. Edit, redo. Any more like that? I don't see any more like that, except for at the end. Okay, so we still have this one. This one, this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This, ah, I just lost them. This one, this one, this one. This one, that one, that one, that one. That one and that one. Let's just take a look. It is that one. That one. We're going to right click, paste attributes. Check the volume. And uh, sure enough, we give it too much time. This one didn't work. Why didn't. What's up with this one? It did work. What is going on with this one? Something wrong's, something's wrong with that clip. I'm going to right click. Remove effects, save, copy, paste attributes. He slapped me. There we go. Moving along. The end here. This one and this one. We don't need that one. So right click, paste attributes. Jesus. He reached down to. Just be at peace. I truly, truly, tr just be at peace. I've cleaned you up. I've forgiven you. Just be at peace. I tr We could probably get rid of this. <coughs> Excuse me. Pull this out. Hold alt. Drag that. Control T. Just be at peace. I truly do is cut this, cut this, pull this back, pull this back, pull that back, comic Farley dies. What is that about?
Okay, so what we can do here is... Let's be at peace. I truly... What we can do here is... B for blade, copy that, take alt. Actually, B for blade, copy, copy that with alt. Highlight that, I'm just holding alt and dragging. Alt, drag, alt, drag. Just be at peace. Hmm. Just be at peace. Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That's not working. Just be at peace. I do it right here when he starts talking. We could take this, drag it over here, right click speed, and we'll put it at like 60. Nope. Speed 55. Drag it back here. Put it right there. Bring it down. Put a blade right here. Delete that. Take this. Bring it down. Take that. Right click. Remove. Effects. Take this. Copy. Paste. Attributes. Just be at peace. I truly, truly, truly believe what given you. Just be at peace. I truly, truly, just. That's a dip to white. Just be at peace. I truly, truly, truly believe without any doubt whatsoever. If it wasn't for Jesus Christ, I would be in hell right now. I would be lost forever in a sea of torment. Remove effects. Why does it seem low? In a sea of torment. In a sea of torment. The serial killer known as Son of Sam. Delete. The serial killer. I don't want this fade in really. So kind of immediately. Or, you know what we could do? Take off that in the beginning. Bring this down. The serial put on the dip to or cross dissolve. Constant power. This is ridiculous that so you gotta do it to two tracks at once. Sorry. The serial killer known as Son of Sam terrorized New York City from 1976 to 1977. David Berkowitz used a 44 caliber handgun to commit several random shootings across the city. He killed six people and he wounded seven others. Police eventually arrested him exactly 40 years ago today. The city of New York. Oh, I think the, I think my tack time should go here. <laughs> A just a machine of destruction. It became virtually a killing machine. A just a machine of destruction. So that goes here. Go today. The city of New York. Why am I missing a thing? Let's go back to the original. Original project. This one. What happened? I lost something. Oh, oh, today. The city of New York was actually... See, this... I'm missing a... Attack times thing, okay. 
So we can grab this, control C, copy, and tap up to get to that cut right there. And then all we have to do is press edit and paste insert. And it put it right there for us. Oh, today. The city of New York was actually experiencing a massive nervous breakdown. There was palpable fear in the hearts of people in the streets of the city at night. One man terrorized. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do is take this and I'm going to put on fast color corrector pop some saturation a little bit to like 112 bring in some darks pop in some mids 1.1 and bring the darks to like 6 put the saturation at 1 15 ish. So if I take this off and on, see a little more color and pop to it. Let's look at the first girl right here. Okay, and then take it off, put it on. Ah, eh, she looks too saturated. Too saturated. 110. Off, on, off, on, off, on. Almost looks better off. I don't even know that I want to deal with this because this stuff is going to take forever to render. So this is fine. I was going to go through and sharpen and color correct, but it all looks fine. It's all good. Good to go. No one's going to notice those minor sharpenings. I think we're good. I'm going to watch it one time through, I guess, to make sure, or I'll export it out. I don't know. I think it's done. I think we might want to add some more clips to it, actually, but that's it for now. I'm going to save it. That's it for now. It's been a long session. A very long session. Hope we learned something together. I really don't know the thing that made this very difficult was this audio being split into audio one and two. They should have all been on one channel as two waveforms on one channel. A stereo image, whatever. I don't know why it came like this. I suppose it has to do with um, converting from Adobe CC to CS6. And in the process, this is how they got imported. I don't know. Um, but if you're editing like this, you should not be. You should be like, let's say you file open new sequence. I guess you have your settings here in your sequence. And maybe they have audio. I'm not sure about that. Audio samples. Tracks. There you go. Tracks. One, two, three. Standard. Yeah, make sure these are all on standard in your audio tracks when you open up a setting. So, if you were to open this as Son of Sam test, when you open it up, a new thing, and you come to pull in one of these videos, Do not change the sequence settings. Keep the existing settings. Open this up and you have an audio channel, one audio channel, which is stereo. When you play it, it has left and right. My prince, my lord, you know, come into my, uh, come into me right. Okay, so. I wonder if I can open, here we go timelines so this is the new this is the same test so if I were to wonder if I could even take I don't know if that I could do this but actually control a to highlight it all right 
see if I were to drag it in here. Oh, look at that, you can. Keep existing settings. Yeah, I don't know what it did. Oh, it did it. But I still didn't get my... I still didn't fix my audio. I was trying to fix my audio, but that didn't work. All right, scratch that. Son of Sam test. And this is where we're at. That's what we got. I don't know. And there's no way for me to... That I'm aware of to combine these two audio channels. I wish there was a way. Frame blend scare uh, um, audio channels doesn't do anything. Nest group enable ripple. I don't know. Place with properties rename. I don't know. I don't know how to link them. Maybe you can't. But you see how it's supposed to be. They're supposed to come in on one channel. So it could be your settings when you start your program and you bring in your, um, your here you go, your new sequence um, settings under the audio. Where was that that we found audio? Tracks. Audio. Stereo. Standard. This is what they should be set up at. I don't know what you're using. Okay, you should have this all right here. Frame size 1920 by 1080. Frame rate can be 29.97 or 30 frames per second. Aspect ratio, square pixels 1.0, fields, progressive scan, audio settings 48,000 samples. Um, default sequence, total video tracks 3, master track type stereo, audio track standard, standard, standard. Editing mode. Yeah, so that's the one I use. I have to find one similar. But when you do it, and you pull in a when you pull in a video, here you go. You got keep it as existing. Keep existing settings. Open the audio, drag that bigger, and you see you got two big fat waves. This was your. This was actually your exported. Um, this was the original export. So that the, the waves are. These were the ones that were too distorted, too cranked, too loud. Okay. Anyway, I think we're good. When we export this out, you'll see a new wave, and it should all actually look a lot better. The wave. All right. I'm going to export this out now because I'm kind of burnt out on it. And then I'll watch it again in full, and we'll see if we missed anything. All right. And this is how we deal with audio, which is actually, right now, is in a very inconvenient, tricky fashion, where we actually are putting effects on two audio channels at once, and having to, if we have to do transitions or anything, we have to do them on two at once. It's, it's just double the work. There's no reason to do it that way. Okay. All right, I'm going to sign off. Have a good one. Ta-ta now, y'all.